Thanks so much for joining us for Fox 5 News at 6. I'm Eric Perry. Celebrations honoring former First Lady Rosalind Carter set to begin in less than 24 hours. We have live team coverage for you. Joy Duke standing by at the Carter Center where Rosalind's body is set to arrive tomorrow afternoon around 3 o'clock. But we want to begin with Fox 5's Tyler Fingered, who's live for us tonight in Mrs. Carter's hometown of Plains. Car Tyler, we know they loved their hometown, and I'm sure the hometown loved them as well. Yeah, Eric, good evening to you. This small community is expected to see hundreds, if not thousands of people turn out for tomorrow's procession and Wednesday's private funeral. You'll see that there are barricades set up on both sides of the road here to get ready for the mourners expected to show up. And just a short distance from this route, there is a growing memorial as this community gets ready to say their final goodbye. This is one of Aunt Rosalind's favorite songs, so we're singing. At Marionetha Baptist Church Sunday. Sing loud so she can hear it. Morning has broken. Rosalind Carter was top of mind. We're going to make sure that she knows that we all love her. On Wednesday, this congregation will say goodbye to one of its most well-known members. All over the world, people are celebrating her life. And of course, we're coming into a week now where we're going to celebrate even more. Mrs. Carter leaves behind a lasting legacy. She'll be remembered for many things, including as a champion of mental health care. She was born and raised in Plains, and this community is working to send her off in the best way possible. Downtown, you've got that beautiful, beautiful collage of pictures. People from near and far are using the site as a memorial. We wanted to put flowers to make sure that she gets something because she was an amazing lady. Kaylee and Abigail Shin are Girl Scouts from Macon. They drove two hours with their parents to drop off flowers hours for Mrs. Carter to honor her support of the Girl Scouts over the years. Met me other people that can't make it to put flowers and we were able to make it so we can have flowers for her. Back at the church, preparations are underway for Wednesday's funeral. Crews are setting up walkways, among other things, to get ready for the service. We're going to send her off with a wonderful, wonderful send off. Tomorrow will be the reef laying in nearby Americus before Mrs. Carter heads up to Atlanta. Her funeral is set for Wednesday here in Plains. If you're interested in attending the motorcade, we have the route on our website, fox5atlanta.com. We're live in Plains tonight. Tyler Fingert, Fox 5 News. Yeah, she absolutely loved not just that city, but that church as well. Tyler Fingert in Plains for us. Thanks so much.